Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Square Wave 2. Electrical test equipment for kids? Is this a crazy idea or what? Well maybe not as crazy as you might think. There is one very fundamental basic piece of test equipment that is easy to make, very useful and completely appropriate for kids to use. Anyone know what I'm talking about? No? Well consider this. I have several multimeters here in the shop, but a lot of the time I'm only using them to test continuity. Is the circuit complete? A very useful test. But this started me thinking, how about a simple continuity checker for my grandson? Something we could build together and something he could learn to use on his own. The more I thought about it, the more I liked the idea. And finally, this is what I came up with. The unit is powered by one 9 volt battery here. Behind the battery is a piezoelectric buzzer. Over here I have an LED pilot light and down here a simple on-off switch. And I have a pair of very cheap test leads. When I flip the switch, the pilot light goes on indicating the unit is ready to work. When I touch the test leads together, I get an audible signal of continuity. The unit is built on a scrap of wood measuring about 2 by 4 inches. I mounted all the parts and my grandson wired everything together and soldered all the joints with no help from me. Here's the diagram he followed. Here you see two circuits powered by a 9 volt battery. When the switch is closed the first circuit is activated which lights the LED pilot light. When the two probes contact something that conducts electricity, the second circuit is closed and the buzzer will sound, giving you an audible indication of conductivity. My grandson really liked his test instrument. He spent a whole day testing everything he could lay his hands on. He sure learned the difference between conductors and insulators. He also learned what a complete circuit is. He even went one step further and put the two leads into a glass of tap water and he discovered that indeed tap water does conduct electricity, although not perfectly. So what can you test with a simple continuity checker? Well you can test all incandescent light bulbs, you can test all fuses, you can test all switches, you can test speakers for open voice coils, you can check earphones for open coils, you can check variable air tuning capacitors for shorts. And if you're going to be installing a new AC cord on something, you can test the new cord to see which of the two wires goes to the hot side of the wall plug and which goes to the cold side of the wall plug. And if you're going to be installing a new AC cord, this is very valuable information. This is a great little project that parents can do with their kids or with their grandkids. Parts aren't very expensive, they're readily available, and you can probably put the whole thing together in about an hour. Just follow the diagram I showed you a few frames ago. This project sort of reminds me of the old days when the Boy Scout and Cub Scout handbooks showed projects a scout could build to earn merit badges. But in the old days, of course, the electrical project was probably a crystal radio. The continuity tester is a great opportunity for parents to spend time with their kids. Unfortunately, nowadays parents don't seem to have enough time to spend with their children, and this is very important. So go ahead and build my little continuity tester and have a great time.